Hello and welcome back to From the Depths. So today I'm going to show you a new plane that I made. But last week I actually made another plane. It was inspired by the J21, but I made it like an attacker. And it didn't perform very well That because I had a prop at the back. And I'm not very familiar with props in this game yet. But today I'm going to show you this new plane that I made. This is actually an attacker, but it does it really well as a fighter as, as well. This is inspired by the A-10. Obviously, as you can see, it's very A-10-like, although it's not trying to like make it exactly like an A-10. It has a uh, plasma cannon. It's actually quite expensive, 96k, because, you know, of the... Uh, plasma cannon itself and it performs so well it's actually called the starfire i think i'm gonna call it starfire for now so right now uh, rambot is repairing i'm gonna turn it off uh, let's give it some food let's see let's give it some marauder for now and you're going to see how this thing flies. It flies very, very well. It does have some problems, but uh, they're not like super uh, big problems. And you can see it does some really good damage. It didn't dive there for some reason. I need to fix this for sure. Because it's not switching behavior for some reason. And you can see it does some really crazy maneuvers and I'm around there already 88% so yeah it does some really good maneuvers I'm actually gonna uh, be right back I'm just gonna fix this thing this behavior thing and I'll be back okay I fixed that problem and as you can see this thing is completely packed with like things inside so let's try again against the marauder just in case you attack again everything works so it goes up as you can see i'm trying to give it a charge behavior but it's switching to attack and run because i actually managed to change my breadboard a little bit just to make it a little bit more intelligent and there you go a lot of damage 87% on the first pass, which is pretty good. Gonna reload. Gonna climb up. And it's gonna go down. Might tell it to pitch a little bit earlier. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Pitch to distance 5000 meters. Maybe 3,000 meters. Let's see. So yeah, it does. It does all right as an attacker. So let's try against airships now. I'm not sure how it will perform. Let's try against Marlin. So Marlin is more expensive than this plane. You see my camera shake, uh, don't worry, that's because I'm reaching the speed limit of the game. This thing was actually 190 meters per second now, I nerfed it a little bit to 180 because it was going way too fast. As you can see, it's... Oh. It is literally dancing around this airship and this airship can't do anything about it. Very bad missile there. I need to tell it to not shoot missiles if it's too close. Uh, still, still hitting them. Yeah, still hitting them with the missile. Oh, I lost a wing there. And I lost an engine. Should still fly with one wing though. The 
bit too aggressive though. Um, the charge behavior. Try that. I think I lost the plasma cannon, yep. Yep, I lost the plasma cannon there. That's annoying. Alright, let's try again. Marlin? What you do now? Try to shoot me from the distance. Oh, okay. Oh, I lost a I lost a wing again. I think it's dangerous. Yeah, it's just hanging around way too much. For some reason. The Marlin is... Okay, it's 7,000 volume. Actually, I have an ACB that checks how much volume it has. The the enemy has, like, how much enemy... Uh, how much uh, volume does the enemy have? And then it tells the breadboard which type of behavior it uses but it checks a lot of more things like distance altitude how much speed does the enemy have and then you know just tells the breadboard which behavior to use and right now it's using the uh oh oh okay using the uh, airplane behavior Not sure why. I was like, Marlin should be. Like, I should use a tech run on the Marlin. Not something else. Uh, let's do this then. Well, this is why. This is why. Oh, okay. So this is D. No, this is E actually. Okay. So I think this needs to be Y. Try again. I made this in like a few hours, so I didn't test it a lot. Okay. As you can see, it's go doing attack run now. Which is what you want against airships. That's much better, much safer. You can see the, the camera starts shaking when you get to a certain speed. That's normal. I have to use my stabilization camera. Good missiles. Didn't use the plasma there though. This thing will dodge, so this is not Lua dodge, this is just my breadboard uh, dodging system that I have on the Steam Workshop. And you can use this thing on pretty much any plane that you have. But I recommend you to use jets, you know, single engine or twin engine, that's fine. Ooh! Very good, very good. good. So that is a tech run behavior now, so if I try to... Which is to charge, as you can see, it's not working. But I'm, I'm gonna also try to put it against like big, massive planes, just in case it gets confused. And this thing's going down. Okay, well, I definitely won that fight. Right. Calm down, sir, calm down. It's very... it does a lot of negative Gs. I have no idea why. Like, all my planes do negative Gs. I need to fix that. Anyway, let's try something bigger. No, bigger. 
Let's try Barracuda. Because I think Barracuda is actually an, an airship. Or like, not an airship. Like an aircraft carrier airship. Oh, those guys. What the heck? Let's see what happens. Those guys crashed. So look how many missiles is it, it's dodging right now. It's so crazy. So Rambord is not repairing. I'm not in good mode, right? Yep. So I think it is prioritizing the airship, which is not very good. Yep. I do have a priority card. So I might tell it to prioritize... planes first because look at the planes they're shooting missiles constantly yeah but it's dodging missiles pretty good I'm just getting hit by a little bit of frag here and there but uh oh and by the way I try to make this thing out of metal but it's really really heavy and i'm actually going to show you an issue with this thing because if you download this and you try it it's, you're gonna have the same issue that i have well, now let's see how it does here first okay, it's trying to i think it's actually trying to prioritize is it no no it's not this thing has, yep, has missile interceptors. Right, so I need to tell it to focus on more on more planes. So this thing has an issue. Yeah, I'm actually gonna show you. So when you first spawn this plane, let's do a restart. It will do something like this. I have no idea why, but then it will eventually get out of the water cause like, since the engines are on top, it will eventually get out of the water, no problem. So make sure to spawn it a little bit high if we're gonna use it in campaign. Right, that priority card, where is it? Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Priority card. Should be here, oh there it is. Right, uh, we're not gonna do engine power, no. We're gonna do speed. Right, and do we do altitude? I don't think we should do altitude. We should do stability. Right, let's do that. Missiles, armor, no. Firepower, nope. Engine power, nope. Propulsion 0 0.5 0 0.5 here Can I? Let's see, let's try that So that is working, okay You're correct, you're using the correct behavior now? Nope Still nope That's fine. Doing attack run, but I mean, I think that's fine anyway. Okay, it's, it's focusing on the planes though. Okay, yep. Once it kills some of these planes, uh, it should, it should do alright. Can I hit a little bit here and there? Oh my god, the camera. Hey Rambo, don't repair, dude. A little bit in space right now. Okay, it's definitely prioritizing the planes now, which is good. I think I got two of them so far. Uh, 
what are you doing? Yeah, it's still pretty, it's still going for the for the airship. I don't expect this plane to like do this stuff alone in campaign, but uh, doing still pretty good. Trying to do so many missiles. I think it's doing okay though. Getting some hits here and there. Okay, we got three planes, four planes. I think five planes. This one is going down as well. Yep. There's so many sounds that the game is like cutting all the sound from the plane. Right, I think it's going to prioritize those now. The Rambot is not repairing, so this is like... In a state of... Like in a damaged state. Flying in a damaged state is flying pretty well, still. Try to use an APS by the way, but the uh, fact that you put an APS cannon in a plane and then the first hit that it receives, it explodes. Eh, I don't really like it. As you know, plasma cannon, it can take a few hits before it gets destroyed. And once it gets destroyed, you can still fly. And you still have missiles, so... And the fact that, you know, the APS is kind of slow. It takes ages to reload, especially with uh, belt-fed ammunition. Ah. Very annoying. Later on, I might make like a proper A-10 build, which is going to be massive. Probably like twice or three times the size of this thing. Was doing okay. It's uh, taking its time for sure. Trying to avoid some of the APS there. Was this some of these planes do have APS? Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here for now. Uh, right, let's give it... So we tried. Let's try... Uh, a ship here. Let's try the Iron Maiden. To make sure that the behavior is working, yep. Bad damage, not bad damage. We didn't hit the turrets though. Oh, where is it? Oh. Turning. Can avoid those missiles. So it does okay against ships. Uh, let's try against dusters. 
dusters. Try again, ten dusters. Let's see what it does. Because I'm trying to like confuse it as much as possible. Try to overwhelm the the breadboards, so it gets confused. And if it gets confused, then I try to fix it. So we got one of them. Right now, it's flying pretty well. Kind of missing though with the plasma. Dusters are absolutely no problem. Got the tail of that guy. I do have some flares on the side of the wings. They are mimicked. Oh no, that was a that was a miss. I might also check the detection system. Should be okay though. So this thing has radars. It has a lot of things going on. One of the radars is here. I left this thing unpainted so I know that is there let's see uh, show detection bearing there's definitely some problems here to primary target all right I think that's better the two meters Meters error about this. That's pretty good. That seems to be better. Charging the plasma cannon. Plasma cannon is actually breadboarded as well. So the breadboard is managing the engine and how much should the plasma cannon shoot and when it should shoot as well. We got two of them with one um, missile volley. We have one last guy there. And you can see it's doing a tech run on the some of these dusters. No dusters, no problem. Okay, let's try against flying squirrels. What happens? Oh, camera, what the heck? My goodness, the camera in this game. There you go. Oh, we got one! Watch the missiles! Holy moly. It's evading those missiles pretty good. And it's going for the next one. Be careful from the missiles. And you got another one. No problem. Trying to evade those. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you doing? It's trying to stay behind it. Oh no. The plane is a confusion. I'm pretty sure it can still fly. Let's see. As we get hit by a missile. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Almost there. Gonna do it, yep. So that happens because the flank squirrels are going up and down. So it's trying to compensate and trying to find like the best angle to like engage the squirrel. And sometimes it will basically follow the squirrel and nosedive. So you know why squirrels are squirrels. And you can see even one squirrel is dangerous. Imagine just three is just so much danger. <laughs> it's doing okay, you know. It's an attacker. I'm not expecting it to kill the squirrel in like a few seconds. Oh, we got it. And the plasma cannon is out. Oh, and the fuel is out as well. So it's missiles versus missiles now. You can see, oh my goodness. Yeah, shooting the missiles way too late. I need to fix that. I need to tell the weapon, uh, local weapon controller to shoot at around minimum 400 meters. Yeah, it does alright against the uh, flying squirrels. I'm gonna end this fight here. I don't want to make this video way too long. Prepare it. Right, uh, let's try against um, other planes. Let's try against Retribution, which is around the same cost of this plane. Okay, okay, hit there. It's doing this upside down maneuver, I don't like it at all. Might fix that. Very good. Keeping them at bay, that's for sure. Oh, ooh, frag missile in the face. And I lost a wing. Yeah, it's doing this upside down maneuver. I absolutely don't like it when it does that. Going for the high one. Oh, okay. Nice. That guy is down. It's a little bit in space, though. It's going down, it's going down. Oh, Rabbot is repairing. No, no, no. Don't repair. So, you know what I might do? I might tell it to roll a lot less. I'm doing way too much rolls right now. Look at it. Try to make it let, uh, roll a little less here. Let's do 0 0.1. 0 0.1. As you can see, it's all over the place. Okay, that's a lot better. And it's in space again. Yeah, it's in space. It's in space. I don't like that. 
So I think I'm gonna make it dodge a little less because it's dodging way too much. Let's see, how much roll am I using here? I'm using 25 degrees roll. Let's do half that, a little less than half. Going down. And I'm not sure about this. Five, I guess. Five minimum points. I think that's fine. Try again. You know, it's a, it's an attacker. I'm not expecting it to do super well against fighters. But uh, I don't know, you know. A multi-roll play would be nice. So now it didn't dodge at all. And it does doing weird stuff again. That's the thing. If you remove the PID, it doesn't do anything. If you give it too much PID, I think it has too much yaw as well. Look at it. What are you doing? I think it's the yaw. Okay, let's try that. If it dodges missiles. What is it doing? I'm gonna slow go in slow motion here. It's definitely turning. Yeah. Yeah, it's dodging missiles. I think these guys have some cheeky missiles, that's why. Okay, it's doing okay. I think that is better, but I might have to refine it a little bit more. There we go, nice. That's a lot better, it seems. Yeah, yeah, that's better. That's better. I think it had too much yo in the PID. Now that I made it a little less sensitive, I think it's better. These guys are very dangerous as well because they're very tiny planes. And they're hard to detect. Okay, that guy's down. And they're very agile. Very good, very good, very good. That is way better. I'm gonna save that. Alright, last test. I'm gonna try Falcon Squad. Because Falcon Squad is very dangerous. By the way, the plasma cannon is doing 3k damage per burst. It bursts 3, but it recharges 6. So, you know, quite OP actually. Oop, we got EMP'd. This thing has a lot of EMP protection as well. Dodging the APS there. I think that Falcon is toast. Oh, so, you know, it does all right against fighters. Not super perfect. Uh oh. Oh, what a cheeky missile. But I think if I pair this guy with another plane that I have, it should do well in campaign. Guy okay, got hit. Hey, what damage did I do to you?
So it's dodging the APS, all right. So it's very aggressive when it needs to be aggressive and it's very defensive when it needs to be defensive. Oop, oh, this guy EMP'd himself. Uh oh. Why are you going to space? You're going to space, no! What is it trying to do? Go down, go down! So yeah, this thing needs a lot more refining. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see... Uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like. And I'll see you next week. And I'll probably build something uh, more fighter-like next week. With probably an APS cannon. Yeah, that's kind of cheating there, you know. Going on top of them. Yep. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.